Bert and Ernie had worked together as morning drive time radio hosts for 20 years. They traded jokes, played pop music, and generally made people's lives a touch brighter as they trundled to work. Now, though, there was silence on the air. Ernie silently reread the fax message from Civil Defense. As licensed broadcasters, they were legally obligated to alert the public, to tell them the nukes were flying, and that in a few minutes, all the world's troubles would be over. What, though, was the point of that? To torture people with the knowledge of something they couldn't change. Their eyes met, and a decision was reached. Bert put on her most requested song, a sugary top 40 tune, while Ernie produced a bottle of bourbon from under the desk. As the producer banged on the locked studio door, the colleagues toasted the end of a long career. Bert, always the consummate professional, turned away from the window as the first explosion split the distant horizon. He straightened his tie, tucked in his shirt, and brushed his hair back. He would meet his fiery death with dignity. He turned to Ernie and said in a quiet, resigned voice, How do I look, Ernie? Ernie walked slowly over to his friend. He looked into Bert's face and saw the closeness they shared, the strength of their relationship forged over the years. He took a deep breath and spoke quietly. Well, with your eyes, Bert. <laughs>